Committee Chairman, Kentucky Congressman James Comer. Sir, great to have you back on this morning. So here we go. Uh, direct deposit payments from Hunter Biden into his father, Joe Biden's bank accounts via this Chinese company, Owasco PC. Um, what does this mean? When I heard this yesterday, I said, all right, maybe this is the smoking gun that we've been waiting for. But we're only talking about $4,000. At the very least, mm -hmm. at least that, that means Joe Biden can't deny that he knew about and was involved in his son's business dealings. Is that, is that accurate? That's accurate. And it's just another example of the Biden White House using the loan card, saying everything was a loan, everything suspicious that, that came in uh, over a certain time period they're, they're claiming was a loan. Uh, we've talked about $5 million wires. We've talked about quarter of a million dollar wires. And uh, this, is a, this is a smaller wire. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, Joe Biden was taking money from lots of different sources in the Biden influence peddling scheme. And that's something that uh, he has been completely dishonest with the American people. It's something I think the American people are concerned about from a national security standpoint. Uh, wondering whether or not this president's compromised. Yeah, they certainly love their loans. The new claim echoed by Hunter's attorney is that the monthly $1,300 transfers were repayments for a truck payment that Hunter Biden was unable to finance himself. Congressman, are we supposed to believe that? I mean, they think everyone ignorant. Uh, they assume that the majority of Americans at the end of the day are going to be financially illiterate. illiterate. Uh, people know that if you make a loan uh, in, in you receive a re loan repayment, you should have a copy of a check that you made the loan to. I mean, they're just not being honest with the American people. Uh, they want to say, well, the, the president's son couldn't qualify for a truck loan yeah. for what $40,000, but then China loans him $5 million, Russia loans him $3.5 million. I mean, yeah. the list goes on and on right. of the loans that this family's gotten, but they, they can't even get a car loan? Yes, I mean, I, it, it makes no sense. Yeah, and, and the media doesn't care that you, that you come out with this, this breaking news yesterday. The Washington Post... Uh, yesterday, Comer mischaracterizes Hunter Biden car payment reimbursement to his dad. The payments that Hunter made to his father came two years after the elder Biden left the vice presidency. Like that matters. <laughs> and then yesterday, Stacey Plaskett, who represents the Virgin Islands in Congress as a delegate, she doesn't have a vote. Mm -hmm. She had this to say about the lack of connection between Hunter and dad. Take a listen. They have not even their own witnesses that they brought forward been able to find a nexus between any of the allegations of Hunter Biden mm -hmm. and the president, uh, Joe Biden, or even when he was vice president, Joe Biden. There's no nexus. There's no there there. All right, let's see. So in the last several months, you have told us here on Wake Up America, Joe Biden spoke by phone, had dinners and coffee with his son's business partners, uh, shared an office with Joe Biden. Joe Biden's brother James had keys to that office. Uh, Vice President Biden would let Hunter ride on Air Force Two to places like China. They had upwards of 20 different shell corporations, by the way. Who's got one shell corporation? Yeah. Um, and they all signed emails using aliases. Um, that there, to me, would be enough proof to move forward with impeachment. Uh, the president's son is supposed to testify behind closed doors to your committee on December the 13th. So we're talking a week away. Uh, what's the latest with that? Well, we're assuming he's going to show up on December 13th because if he doesn't, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. So uh, we're waiting to hear back from his attorney, uh, the one that uh, spends every waking hour trying to attack and discredit me. But you, you're going back to what Stacey Plaskett said a, a moment ago. I mean, the evidence continues to mount. And the Democrats are trying to create a false narrative like they did with the laptop when they said it was Russian disinformation, like they did when they said the Steele dossier was legitimate. Is they're trying to create a false narrative to the, the, the few Americans who watch MSNBC and CNN and who still read uh, newspapers like the New York Times and the Washington Post. So it's not working. A majority of Americans are keeping up with this investigation. They know that something very bad is happening with the Bidens. They can't explain why they got millions and millions of dollars from our industry around the world. And they expect us to investigate and hold them accountable. Mm -hmm.